It's the Joe Padula Show, Clarksville's conversation. Absolutely. But, uh, but yes, don't forget to uh, follow the Joe Padula Show on Instagram as well, at Joe Padula. iHeartRadio, download the free app, the Joe Padula Show. Click follow. Too easy. YouTube, the Joe Padula Show. Yeah, you get to all the clips get uh, uploaded to the YouTube channel. Hey, Twitter, you get to see me go on political rants. At Joe Padula. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the rants are good. Uh-huh. The rants are good. <laughs> okay. Speaking of the rants, let's get into this one. All right. So, did you watch the new political NFL this weekend? If you didn't, you're not alone. Bay, how how, uh, how much uh, ratings do you think they dropped percentage-wise? Well, let's see what. Golf beat them out last year. Yep, week. golf golf is uh golf ratings are up. So I would say croquet probably beat them. Okay, croquet probably beat them, right? Water polo. <laughs> Intern Chain, you watch football? Uh not necessarily. Is that because you're boycotting it because of political reasons? Well, I was never a big football person to begin with. <laughs> oh, okay. Understood. Not a huge sports guy. Gotcha. Well, let's see what we got. NBC Sunday Night Football ratings crashed nearly 30% for a woke opening weekend. Uh, I can't watch it. I didn't watch anything. I can't watch it, Bay. I, I just can't do it, man. I can't do the sitting down, the kneeling, the, the, the you know, uh, end racism painted in the end zone, people's things on their helmets. But yeah, Sunday Night Football, the clash between the Rams and the Cowboys. Your, that's your team, right, Bang? Yeah. Well, it was supposed to be a, a halt the ratings crash that the NFL has experienced so far this 2020 season. But according to Deadline Hollywood, ratings for NBC's only weekly NFL game were down a shocking 28%. Yeah, putting on the two teams with the big national followings, okay? Well, they, the numbers, they uh, they certain to change, but uh, but the results are, uh, according to uh, according to what I'm looking at here, pretty disastrous for the NFL. Not be just because the members, uh, I don't know, numbers are bad, but you got to understand, the people that pay for revenue, mm-hmm. they see these numbers too. Yeah. Man, it's not good. Ah, uh, Bay, do you think they're ever going to... Uh, Give up the woke stuff and just play football again? No, eventually. Yeah. Somebody, whoever losing the money is going to say something about something. Now, Bay, they also, with the this first week of football, they have the black national anthem being played. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, and there were teams that stood for that, both of them. And then the, they would play the national anthem, the U.S. national anthem, Star Spangled Banner. And you had teams kneeling for that, but not the Black National Anthem. Do you know what the Black National Anthem even is? No. I've heard about it before. But. I, I've heard about it before, but only this year mm-hmm. when we were talking about it. Yep. What do you make of that? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? No. Man. Intern Shane? Uh, yeah. I know, I know it's a touchy <laughs> subject, and some people, you, you don't want to come, and I hear you. But you got to understand, if you go woke, you go broke. Limited. Majority, if you look at the majority of the people that attend football games in stadiums last year, prior to, right? Mm-hmm. Majority of them white people, correct? Mm-hmm. In the stadiums? Yeah. Okay? Fair enough to say that? Well, if you keep spouting... Racist, 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 which I bet we're going to get flagged for saying the R word, by the way. Most likely. But they don't want to go. They don't want to watch the games. And it's so sad seeing just a handful of people in the stadiums, too. And and the noises that they're creating, like they're spouting out this, these mm-hmm. fan, fake fan crowds. It's so weird. It's just so weird. It's the Joe Padula Show, Clarksville's Conversation.